us at the bar, please. Welcome to Tavern Tales, a curated 5e Dungeons & Dragons adventure set in the tales of the Yawning Portal campaign module by Wizards of the Coast. Previously on Tavern Tales, in the concourse of the gods, our party is hopeful to avoid traps, only to find a pyramid dedicated to the sun. Come sit down and drink with the enemy, raise a glass and toast to the enemy, and I'm not gonna do this on my own. So come sit down and laugh with the enemy, raise a glass and sing to the enemy, and I'm not gonna do this on my own. So I So, Maryland, uh, the yes. pyramid glows, right? That sun sigil mm -hmm. begins to glow. The ray sigil, which is just like the three straight lines, yeah, and they go at a 45 degree angle. And then the that begins to glow. And then the third face, the two hands upraised, begins to glow. Things are starting to glow. Maybe take a step back. No, they're not. Nothing. <laughs> nothing's glowing. What? Oh, because we can't see it anymore. Nothing's glowing. Whatever Maryland is said, you guys can all look around now. You look around. You, I mean, Maryland's looking at the pyramid. That's not glowing. Are, are you feeling all right there, princess? It's glowing. It is certainly not glowing. Oh, shit. You guys are all dark people now. You're idiots. Whoa. <laughs> Watch <laughs> your it, language. <laughs> take it down a notch, judgy judgy. I did not do such thing as to change my skin color. Yeah, you have bat wings i don't see no wings what do you have against leathery wings huh what i'm saying is if this is from the god of the sun and rays aka a light god aka <laughs> aka <laughs> a -A <laughs> aka there you go shut up <laughs> a light god and you all worship a dark god now you're not gonna see it anyways it's glowing maybe step back or don't whatever mary Lynn takes a step back <laughs> and looks at the ceiling is the ceiling glowing yes the ceiling is glowing but it is like the dawn coming and the stars are fading and it is it is starting the sun is starting to rise sort of thing that's so cool Maryland's mouth just starts to drop a little bit as she's looking up, which she doesn't show like a lot of shock or surprise ever. Right. But this is throwing her off a little bit because it's just really cool. So she's like, oh, shit, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> she will look up. It's just, it's still it's, it's a still roof. Stars? OK, it's a roof. I think he's just down. This bitch be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything else happening on the roof? It's getting lighter and the sun is coming up. Guys, the sun is coming up. It's kind of nice. We're we're in a dungeon. We don't know what time of day it is. So, <laughs> can I do a religion check on this? I guess. Yeah. No. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna keep playing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, something religious is happening. But... Yeah. I just have a question. So I did switch gods. Yes. But I'm still the light domain. Yes. So do I still have like halfers <laughs> on it? <laughs> Can I do 50 50? Because the point was is that I was like the light in the darkness. And so I could get the information of the light side and give it to the darkness so they can use it against Because there, there has to be a balance. You have to have some light with the darkness. You, right. great and that was the, are you, you are Zotzalaha's light. Yeah. Not Kinichaja's light. I'm still light. Yeah, you're still light, but you have forsaken Kinichaja, who is the sun. You are a light cleric who worships a darkness god to make the shadows that much darker. So no halfers? <laughs> well, I I mean, you can definitely be like religiously bi-curious. Yeah. So but you I have like... forsaken Kinich Aja and he knows that. Like you've, you've removed the sigil 
visibly. But I didn't remove the placement. It's like when you get a tattoo covered, it's still there. No, I mean, it's gone. Like, could it's it, been like, replaced. But I mean, I was a pretty good follower. So doesn't he just give me like a thread to try I, and I pull me back? I think that what you told me was that you only followed him because it was a family thing. And like, you know, you he, he weren't really that connected to him <laughs> is literally what you said on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we recorded it. <laughs> It happened. <laughs> Hindsight's twenty twenty. The sun rises. It literally peeks over the edge of the wall and starts to cross the room itself, casting everything in brilliant, beautiful, golden light. So while I think this anthropologist is, you know, cray cray, you did forsake Kinajaja, and I do know that this pyramid is connected to Kinajaja. So, because. Well, this particular tiny yeah. pyramid. Yeah. Yes. So maybe she has a point. <laughs> and her voice just goes that high. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. So if we look up, do we see, like, the sun? You see nothing. Yeah. It's just. It's just well, no, it's just. It's, it's the regular darkness. It's regular. We don't see stuff. anything. So we're just walking around with our eyes closed the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Dick. <laughs> Only she can see what is happening. We are following a dark god, so we can't see what's happening. No, I understand. I just thought that if you would look up and like the sun was there, if it, it's a celestial being, we would be like, oh, it's the moon because we, we see the darkness. See. Oh, I like that. That's cool. Yeah, but that no, you guys don't see anything at okay. all. It's just the stars still in the. It was already <laughs> described. No, I know it was described. Yeah, he was just adding color to say like, was it? Am I seeing something different? But no, you don't see anything at all other than the ceiling tiles. They just in see the roof. ceiling tiles. You don't even see stars. No, we well, the, see the there's stars, stars in the ceiling, oh, paint, like, painted, yeah. painted oh, or they just look like normal paint, carved though. in or something or whatnot. Warriors, they're glowing set. for me. They're gone. They're gone. Completely. Oh yeah, because it's the sun now. Sun. Right, yeah, right, right. You saw like actual stars, this lighting of sky. The sun reaches its zenith. Do I need sunglasses? Yeah, it's <laughs> super bright, like shining daylight your shadow is completely gone the room is plunged into glorious day you can see there is no silty mud on the floor anymore you can see that all the pedestals that are supposed to be there are all in their proper place they're not broken at all and they have figurines and pyramids that have car sigils carved on them and other valuable trinkets and whatnot are on top of all of them like fancy vases picture the olman people and what they would venerate and choose to place in you know sigils of of uh or symbols of their worship and are all of those are on the uh these pedestals and the pyramid this beautiful silver pyramid glows in the daylight and there is a small man sitting next to the pyramid leaning against the pedestal he is not very tall he's maybe four and a half feet tall i kneel down so that i'm about eye level with the man no not even then because he's sitting right he's literally oh my sitting on the ground so he's all of a foot and a half up <laughs> I sit down on the ground in front of the man. Sure. Cross-legged. And I start talking to him, I guess. Can we hear <laughs> Maryland talking? Maryland looks up at the ceiling and that was the last moment for in time. Time is now frozen for all Whoa. of you. So she's just, we just see her standing there staring upwards. She just looked upwards we're casually. Frozen. And now we're you're all we're frozen. You're They're all moving faster than us is what's happening. Or ridiculously slow. Either way. Cool. Oh, I guess I'll have to talk now <laughs> and be more vocal than Maryland normally is. Well, you did. You said you sat down and start talking. So yeah, I know. Now I have it. to figure out what to say. <laughs> you always put yourself in this predicament. I know, I do. And then I feel so awkward. Okay, cool. Well, we'll start here. Hi, I'm Maryland. Who are you? Hi there. Yeah, I know who you are. You're Maryland. Well, then that puts us on uneven ground. I, You know me, but I don't know you. Oh, come on. Really? You don't know who I am? Like the whole... What? He puts his both of his hands, palms up towards the light sort of, th sort of thing. Leaning against this pedestal. You don't know who... I did the whole... With the sun, the... Oh. You don't know who I am? What's his name again? I'm one of the Trumpet. I don't know anymore. Are you... Don't you help her? Why are you helping her? Kuchimaganga. 
<laughs> That's not my name. Come on, you're supposed to know this stuff. Religion check. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> no. Can Get a ch- Jaja. Jaja. There Stop you go. it. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Chunga was better. <laughs> Kinnage Aja, right. Kinnage Aja? Yeah, you can just call me Ken. Nice to meet you, Ken. Yeah, yeah, you too, MJ. So, I normally don't do this sort of thing because I'm a really old kick-ass god, like super old. I know I don't look it, but I'm up there. And I know you don't really worship me, but dude, I'm a little pissed. Oh, that's unfortunate. Why? Why do you think? You saw what happened? Oh, with the Asimar. And? And the blood and the vampire what i don't care no about a vampire i mean the other two oh how that vampire dude look look seriously texas and penny they mean a lot to me i mean they don't worship me specifically but they cared and now they're like totally serving that ass hat in the dark yeah that's unfortunate I know that you never really like, you looked up at the sun sometimes and you were like, oh, I like this. It's a sunny day. And that that was nice. But you never really worshipped me. You always be like, rain, rain, go away. You talk about the rain cods and whatnot. But I'm always here. You were looking for me. I know it. Maryland nods. <laughs> and I know you're like a bad motherfucker, like the stab stuff. And you probably worship some more like assassination god or whatnot but i can do that sort of stuff too i'm a i'm a anyway i'm just trying to make a play for your fealty because dude i've lost a lot in the last couple of hours and here you are now in this little concourse of the gods and mine's the only one that's left and just gonna make an appeal oh well i did really like that sun trick on the roof that was cool oh thanks yeah you know just nothing Still a little thing. I thought it was spectacular. Ah, oh, you <laughs> immortals and worship and you're all being kind and whatnot. Well, I know people assume that I would like dark things because of my rather cold exterior at times, but I do like a little bit of light now and then. Yeah? Sure. Why not? She hand- She holds out her hand to shake the god's hand. Uh, he uses your hand to pull himself up. Because it's really short. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so cute. And suddenly you're hugging Kinachaja. Oh. Good old Ken. Oh. Yeah. The sun god is... That really means a lot to me. I mean, <sighs> I tell you, this place sucks so much. And you need to, like, bring it down. Like, this place is just a big pit of death and blood and bats and sucking. <laughs> Suckage so much. <laughs> so much suck. Does he mean that in two different yes. ways? Yeah, okay. Whoever you are, both to- for forms of suckage. <laughs> so, like, just, like, raise it to the ground and, like, try to bring your friends back around. Like, you know, the light is bright and cheerful and happy and the darkness is, like, scary and ugly and furry and... <laughs> Like, it's just crap. As Aaron looks at his arms, which are very hairy, and wonders if Kyle is calling him out. I'm not Aaron. I was picturing a bat. Am I Zotzala, huh? Is that what I'm hearing? This whole time, he's Wait. been a part of the party. Guys, we all know the answer to every question is... Yes. yes. And? Sick. <laughs> you are now the god of suckage. <laughs> <laughs> Ken finishes giving you a big hug and you feel filled with light. Huh. You already did kind of feel filled with light here in Air Genesee. <laughs> yeah. I guess this light stuff isn't so bad. No, it's lots it's really good. I don't know why everyone doesn't worship the sun. I mean, I bring light and life to everything. Like literally everything, and all he does is kill shit. I don't understand it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we should bring this place to the ground then, shall we? Yeah, like just fill this hole in. Okay. Oh, so do I get like any cool stuff? Are you gonna like do cool stuff? I always do cool stuff. Like in my name? Yeah, if you want me to. Totally will. Well, why would I give you anything if you're not gonna do something? I just said I was gonna bring this place to the ground. Oh, cool. I mean, yeah, like definitely. Thank you. I appreciate that. Maryland just shrugs. Okay. <laughs> Okay, well, he looks into Maryland's heart and sees Maryland is thinking what? She would like some cool stuff. <laughs> like. Because? Because 
she could see herself becoming an assassin that carries out Kinich Aja's will, slaying the darkness. Okay. Yeah. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. She pictures herself like stabbing vampires and going all Buffy Summers. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, good old Buffy. Now we're getting some PvP coming. <laughs> <laughs> Senses. Uh, Kinich Aja says, okay, well, like, you can have a cantrip for free. I'll give you that. Cool. Cool. I mean, I don't know how smart you are. Whoa. She's an airhead. <laughs> Sorry, Kyle says, I don't know how smart the uh, air genasi is. She's got a... Plus one int. So you're me using your int for any spells and you yeah. can have a cantrip. Yeah. Well, I don't really use spells. You can have I'm more of a, a stabby person. You can have a cantrip from the wizard class of your choice from the main book. Cool. I would recommend something light related if you take darkness or feign death or some sort of necromancy. <laughs> I'll be not happy. <laughs> what? <laughs> Kina Cha Cha be like, damn. <laughs> Can my sword do like light damage of no. some kind? Oh, damn it. That's, that would have been Get cool. Get a cantrip. Cool. Boom. Done. A light or radiant damage or some sort of related cantrip. Firebolt or... Um, the light spell would be perfectly fine. Hey there, Florida man. Yeah? You've missed a bunch. Yep. Since you've been gone. Since you've been gone. God damn it. I can I feel it. for the first time. <laughs> Thanks, Chris Thanks to Clarkson. you. Now I get what I want. What What? What do you want? I'll I want tell you tell... what I want, what I really, really want. Wow. <laughs> Where was all this last game? <laughs> <laughs> all right, you lady over there. You're not a worshipy of or a devotee to Zotilaha. So you as well see the dawn come across the sky. And when the sun reaches its zenith, there is a little four and a half foot tall man lounging, leaning against a pillar. And he says to you, hey. Hello. And no one else is around. It's just you. And you can see the pillars are all back up. It's brilliant light shining day. There's no mud and silt on the ground or anything like that. And he says, hi, Florida man. Hello yourself. It's, uh, nice to make your formal acquaintance. And he holds out his hand to you. I will shake it. It's a very tiny hand. You have tiny hands. <laughs> you state the obvious a lot. That's okay. I'm the sun. I see everything. I state the obvious all the time because everything's obvious to me. I'm the sun. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Florida man likes the sun. So I... Uh, I, mean, I caught a little bit about what you were saying before, but you didn't go do the thing. And this whole Zotzalaha stuff's kind of pissing me off. And I'm wondering, you're a paladin of vengeance, and I am I like to make good sunburns and sunstroke. Is there room in your heart or in your worship and prayers for Kinachaja? I'm like really bad at the religious part of the paladin stuff. Like, like really bad. <laughs> I don't even remember who my god is. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Uh, I mean, we can work on that. But you can remember who he is. Who cares about that guy? <laughs> He's not even around. I mean, so like, why why are you pissed off? Just, you know. I just lost a main cleric. Like, literally, my main cleric. The only Olman cleric that I had in the entire area. Yeah, I don't even speak Olman. This, I can only, you know, clinks on the helmet. Yeah, I get it. It's fine. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I, I feel I'm still it. down to clown. <laughs> I uh like like will will that cause like problems with the other uh idiots in this party? Look, they all made a choice. They made a pact. They decided to align with this like god of darkness, death, despicableness, blah blah blah, death, blood, other things. I mean, you know, life comes from death. No, life comes from me. <laughs> I'm the sun. <laughs> I mean, death and rebirth are in an endless cycle. Sorry, what do you want from me again? I asked if you want to this is really hard. <laughs> I feel like I've already asked. Look, do you want to like worship Kinajaja? Ken, you know me, the guy in front of you, little so, guy. So why are you so big small? Son up there? Size doesn't matter. I'm big where it counts. <laughs> <laughs> he just points to the sun. But like I'm underground right now. That might it, like, will I be weaker? Oh, like... Come on, it's all representative. Is it though? I don't know enough about this stuff. Okay, but yeah, we're having a conversation. I slept through school and stuff. I don't know. Okay, well, look, you, I'm making an offer. This is the only place I can do it because there's like literally nothing else of me left in this entire shrine, this entire temple. It's all zotzala ha 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 ha. So what do you... Hoopla. So you just 
Do you just want a, like a little devotion? It's all Zotza hoopla. There we go. Look, I'm just looking for a couple people who will help me bring it to the ground because those three other friends here are not going to do it. And I don't have a lot of time left. As you can see, the sun's kind of crossing the sky. Wait, bring what to the ground? Well, it's already on the ground, but like, just like bring this place down. Like destroy the temple? Yes. Kill all of the like Zotzalaha worshiping bammer jammers. I don't know if I can help bring the temple to the ground. This is a historical like place with lots of cool shit that we can steal. Sure, with like vampires and undeath. I'm not saying don't take all the stuff out and like use it for your own benefit, but like bring it down. Oh shit, yeah. Okay. Kill all the <laughs> undead and the bad guys. Like we're on the same purpose here. I'm reading your mail. Cool. I mean, normally I just get flyers, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been really boring recently. Yeah, the sun saver is really good. I quite like that one. <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay. All right. <laughs> This was a limited time offer. You're saying yes? Sure. Fucking A. <laughs> cool. Hit up with Maryland. I'm talking to her at the same time right now. And uh, don't tell these other three companions of yours what's going on, because Zotzalaha is going to hear right away. But because right now is daylight savings time, I've kind of got an hour where I can oh my God. <laughs> slip it in. <laughs> Perfect. For those at home, it is currently daylight savings time. <laughs> All right. Cool. Okay. Am I going to get hit by some sort of smite or god death? No way. Okay. Thanks for saying yes. I'll do you right. Cool. Do All I, right. Do I get anything cool? Yes. I don't know, like a unicorn or something. Sure. Why not? Whatever. Sweet. Is that my seed now? <laughs> I mean, I said like a unicorn, <laughs> but... <laughs> He, his eyes go like they, they shift back and forth as he's like trying to do mental math. And he's like, yeah, there's a favor or two I could probably pay in. And there's a couple. I mean, I'm just one half of the tremorette of the sun god. But I mean, I, I could probably swing. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't really need a unicorn. I mean, who doesn't need a unicorn? <laughs> I mean, it would be cool. Just Give her a grown up version of Priscilla. <laughs> No, that's mine. <laughs> Back thought, off, bitch. I thought, I thought Priscilla. But Marie Claire played Priscilla. It'd be really weird. She'd be talking oh. to herself. That was that's a really good choice. So I really like that. How about a flying pig? I could do a flying pig. <laughs> no, I no. I saw your heart was set on a unicorn. It's done. It's done. It, yes. Of no, course. but like, like, do you have a steed that represents the sun? Well, there's this like Greek guy named Apollo. I ride him every now and again. <laughs> <time. laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> I mean, he's kind of like the town bicycle <laughs> <No>. <laughs> florida man really does like the sun a unicorn it is <laughs> salt okay okay well bye y'all <laughs> the sun sets the two of you start everybody else is kind of frozen motionless you're back in the mud and the guck and the darkness and uh, the lime strewn walls and uh, that is the concourse of the gods. I'm going to find my steed. You know, summon my steed from the ethereal plane by which I'm sure it exists. Cool. I mean, you have fine steed already I do. prepared and ready to go. And yeah. you're going to do that right now? No, but I want to. All right. <laughs> the two of you come to and you can give each other a look, a knowing look. It's not subtle. She's like double blink wink. <laughs> <laughs> We have eyebrow language. Oh, we can just talk in our eyebrow language, which That's is right. what her double blink. Which is what was. they do a lot of the time, anyway. <laughs> so there we go. Now, sorry for the delay, there, folks. The three of you have been frozen in time, and now you are back, and you have finished with this room. The pyramid is only six inches by six inches, made of silver, and definitely could be taken and and pocketed into the bag of holding or into one of your pack pouches or whatnot does not appear to have any sort of trap or indiana jones style thing that falls out from underneath it when you remove it if you wanted to it is worth something penny just picks it up uh can i request to carry that instead of putting it in the bag why just because be nice it's all just i have a fond attachment to it looks nice i guess so i wonder what this means and she is like pointing at the glyphs it's language i'm an anthropologist i like stuff <laughs> the door on the other side of the wall, because there's literally nothing else to do in this room. Should we go? To the door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is 
Set, is, is there the door to the north? No, that's in the room before this. Never there mind. is another door that is in the west. So you just continue acro- on across. You go a check of that door. Does not seem to be of any... It seems to be really hard to tear open. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it appears to be locked. <laughs> <laughs> slam it against the ground several times. You stab it with a pencil. Oh, never seen a door Finally, you rip it open and a pile of glistening children fall out. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the glistening children are falling out of the door. The door. Uh, <laughs> it sense to Alabama there, eats one of them. It is delicious. And that is going in the outtakes. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a little like sour. Children. <laughs> sour Patch Kids. You get to the door. Paige, what's the door look like? It looks like it's covered in white specks. Yep. That Lime looks kind has of... covered this door as well. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it looks kind of interesting. You probably don't want to touch it. Or cool. Taste it. All right. What's the knob look like? It's yellow. <laughs> it's a yellow knob. Yeah, it looks a little jelly. Yeah. Yep. Like, it like it's been corroded away. I like yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Yep. There does not appear to be a trap on this side of the door. It also opens towards you, just like the other one ro- opened into this room as well. And you have to pull. It's pretty hard to open because you're pulling it through the mud and the silt, but you open it up and it opens onto a 10 foot wide corridor. And as you open the door, a bunch of the water starts to rush out of the room because the door you're opening is sloping downwards slightly and all of the water there has created a rivulet that now runs down about 15 feet ahead of you and then turns like directly to your right heading north and away and that's what you can see with your torches and your uh your dark vision and whatnot that you can see in the night it's like a steady flow yeah it's a steady flow so there was water definitely coursing underneath the door and when you opened it now the water runs more free and it's flowing down in a path heading down slightly downwards you follow it for a few feet and then the cool part happens when you turn and look north and you see the walls and ceiling of this hallway are coated with slime as well and the floor of the passage is covered with a layer of mud and through this muck a steady stream of water trickles northward the stucco on the walls is flaking off and there are glowing silver tracks in the slime crisscrossing the walls and ceiling along the east wall of the passage stands a 12 foot tall stone statue of a man outfitted in fine clothing and holding a stone tray in his raised arms his eyes appear to be black Black gemstones, but the right one droops out of its socket, balancing precariously on the statue's cheek, and from behind the left shoulder protrudes the hilt of a weapon, most likely a sword. The stone tray, as well as the forehead and nose of the statue, are chipped and scratched, but the figure, the giant statue, sure looks a lot like Alabama. Ooh. Cool. So, huh. I always knew I was a god. <laughs> I'd like to do a history check on the statue. Sure. Do you get closer to the statue? You What do you stand and way back here on the corner? Because you can just barely make it out at the moment. I take a few steps forward, but just enough so I can get an, enough to... Sounds great. Enough information. Yeah, you move forward towards the statue. Everybody else does as well, no doubt. Checking for traps and looking around, and you may all make history checks and the like. Is an investigation okay? No, it has to be history. Oh, well. You're not investigating something about the statue. This is history. Historicity. How'd you do there, Florida man? I got a 20. Cool. Are you ready? This is a famous figure from Olman history. Oh, His geez. name was... Blancher the Wonderful. Blancher the Wonderful. Yeah. He is famous because... He had... Really big feet. <laughs> that he used to? He wiped out an entire orc village that was terrorizing a local town. With, With his, his feet? feet? With his feet. Holy shit. He chugged, he chugged Norris the whole <laughs> Chuck Roundhouse kicked everybody. <laughs> no. Feet, man. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, that he used to climb the, the social ladder. <laughs> the highest peak. And when he got there? He used his giant feet and stomped really hard. <laughs> Which and caused? The most famous landslide in existence. And what happened? It crushed orc villages. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> we circled back. Good we job. circled back. Well done, everyone. This is the story of Blancher the Wonderful, who looks ridiculously a lot like Alabama. Now, based on your own history checks here, that is the story that you know or don't in accordance. So who got higher than five? So you all know that this is Blancher the Wonderful. Who got higher than 10? Okay, so you only know that this is Blancher the Wonderful. Love how the archaeologist always does shitty history checks. Yeah, like, what am I here Really for? failed that archaeology. I only got a nine. Like, that's one less than 10. But. Yes, that's fair. But still, <laughs> it's only 10. Yeah. And so you know he has really big feet. Statue does not actually show the big feet of Blancher the Wonderful. Interesting. And who got higher than 12? The rest of you all learned that he used them to climb to the highest peak. So I just know the guy's name. You only know his name. <laughs> who got higher than 15? Only one of you? Oh, two of you. Two of you got higher than 15. So you know that he caused a great avalanche. And if you got higher than 20? I just got 20. 20 is fine? 19. And you get 19. So 19 is not quite enough. You don't know what the avalanche was for. You know, for some reason, you were you wrote your only essay <laughs> at Paladin <laughs> School <laughs> on Blancher the Wonderful. <laughs> Huh, Blancher the Wonderful. Blancher the Wonderful. I got a solid B minus on that essay. I would think it was an A minus because you know everything. You knew. No, even I'm not spelling. good at grammar. That Wait, it counted spelling. <laughs> yeah, like I did all the research, but <laughs> expressing my ideas is much what you would expect oh, yeah. from a Florida man. He was using numbers. And, and he stuff. didn't include a bibliography <laughs> and he yeah. didn't cite references according to. I didn't have a cover. I didn't have a, yeah, okay. I didn't have a c- proper cover page. And he lost a point for not putting his name. She, a Florida right. man, is a woman. Yes, <sighs> it's very hard one to remember. Also, up. I had to deal with the sexism generally in the paladin department. <laughs> yes, and they always assumed I was a guy, and then when they found out I was a woman, I got graded at least a grade lower. <sighs> Here is the statue before you, giant tray. I'm gonna start measuring the feet. They are normal sized feet. <sighs> I was really sure they were size 18. (laughs) Alabama, is this like your cousin or something? Yeah, are you related? I see the nose. It's been chopped off. Face eyes. Oh, looks so much like me. Totally. Yeah, identical. Taking liberties with the pictures, but there's the (laughs) statue. So the statue's in the book, and you can now see the tray and the sword and the the stones of the eyes. I'm going to see if I can peek under the loincloth. (laughs) <laughs> I mean, it's made of stone, stone? but yeah, you know, it's made it, of stone. Did, did they get to that detail like in the cracks? Moving on, <laughs> <laughs> Florida bands gotta look for some junk. Yes, you can see Blancher the Wonderful's wonderful Johnson. Sweet, I'm gonna I'm gonna eye up Alabama and like check just to be like, oh my, uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. I think this group needs an HR representative. <laughs> Does the flirting happen? No, it's not flirting. It's more just like, like how close is this to to Take this family resemblance? Accuracy. It's a ten foot tall statue. Oh, <laughs> scale, man, scale. <laughs> <laughs> Does that? But we all know uh, Florida man's bad with math. So <laughs> yes, the worst at math. What would you like to do with this statue? Anything at all? Ah. Uh, <laughs> Careful, you phrase that. <laughs> I'm going to put something on the tray. I want, yeah. Okay, what are you going to put on the tray? Uh, like food seems like a thing. <laughs> That's cool, I love that. Some chicken? Uh, no. <laughs> no, I'm going to offer some like dry fruit rations or whatever. Cool, okay, yeah. Does Alabama notice this person or image from like family photo books or anything? Not really. So why are you in here? I mean, your face, like... <laughs> <laughs> he kind of looks at himself and like I, I'm, I'm trying, you, to, I'm trying to find Arizona. No, are you time traveling suddenly? <laughs> What's time traveling? Oh, I may have slept through that class too. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes wizards can like warp reality. And are you actually a wizard? I don't think so. I don't, I don't know why you look like this statue. Then I don't know either. I must have done some pretty cool things in my life that someone no- noticed and recognized and built me a statue. Yeah, I'm sure that's it. It's probably Arizona, so she knows I'm looking for her. Made a statue. She erected a statue. It is a fabulous erection. 
<laughs> I can't picture you carrying a tray, though. That doesn't seem like you. Not to mention your name isn't Blanchard the Wonderful. Yeah. I was going to say something very wrong, but very right for my character. <laughs> Why you know now share the joy of your brain? I was going to say, um, you're right. I wouldn't carry a tray. That's a woman's job. <laughs> I yeah, know. That is, thank you for sharing that. Yeah. <laughs> you're welcome. That was terrible. <laughs> You're welcome. Welcome. Very manly. Yep. 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 And inappropriate. Yep. Yay. Toxic like masculinity. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just like the patriarchy. Yeah. All of the bad things. Uh, is there anything else in this room before besides this giant Make ass? Make an investigation statue? check. Cool. Does nothing happen when the food goes on the tray? 14. No, nothing. It's just a statue. Standing on the east side of the corridor or the right side of the corridor as you're walking by, the water's trickling along. You stomped that mountain so good, sir. I I respect the death of all those orcs. It's something I would do. The sword is not part of the statue. The sword is its own little sheath. It's got leather wrapping. Maryland. It's way high up, though. Starts climbing the statue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's way high up. Okay, I'm going to cool. climb. <laughs> yeah, I totally get that. All right. But- Rather than let you have all of the glory. Cause Do you really, have a plus nine acrobatics? This is going to be fun. You place some fruit there on the statue. Make a perception check. 15. Statue seems to be rather top heavy from what you can tell. You place some fruit there, but nothing. there's no glimmer in the opals. There's nothing happening there at all. The opals look really big because this is a giant head. So they're probably worth like. 50 gold pieces each sort of thing these beautiful stones um that's what you notice and there does not seem to be any religious or connotation connected to it that would be tell you that this place is do i know this if this particular wonderful dude worshipped kinachawa or I you don't. tell me did he worship kinajaja i mean he did go to the top of the mountain so he probably I, did i assume so oh, yeah yeah okay he's a kinachaja worship i won't pop out the opals okay all right, Maryland Jane begins to climb. What's everybody else up to? Alabama's sizing him up, and he's looking at like every crack and crease to try and figure out who this guy is and why he's trying to copy him. Okay, cool. <laughs> so we've got Florida Man in the front looking at putting the stuff there. We've got you in the front as well, like crouch down or look looking at the stuff. Or are you off to the side? I'm off to the side. Okay, where are you, Texas? I'm also off to the side. I like to fly up and fix his eye. No, the room is not Too high enough it. up. It's 12 foot tall at most, and the room is 10 foot wide. So you could definitely climb climb if you wished to or whatnot. I could lift you up. I, I could, I'll could. i take a boost. Sure. Yeah, you start to climb up onto Florida Man. Yeah. Cool. I did this in cheerleading camp. Unfortunately, there is no roll. So I know that you wanted to make an acrobatics check. You climb up to the top. Can you describe the climbing for me? I find a crease in the leg and I kind of put my toe on it and I use the tray as a bit of a hoist and I grab it with my hands and I start to pull on the tray yep. to reach up and grab the shoulder. And then as I'm grabbing the shoulder, I pull up from there and I put my foot then on the tray and on the arm. Awesome. Yes. Make a dexterity saving throw with disadvantage. Both of you make regular saving throws with uh, without disadvantage. Just a regular dexterity saving throw as the statue, not having big enough feet for Blanchard the Wonderful, topples headfirst forward into the thing because it is so ridiculously top heavy. Oops. And he needed bigger feet. Why yes, isn't it historically he inaccurate? He needed bigger feet. <laughs> And you get to watch this from the side because you are not near it. However, you're really close. So you can make a dexterity saving throw with advantage because you were combing through and investigating. Now. Ouch. You said with just normal, not disadvantaged? Just normal. Yes. So did you beat a 15? Yes. Then you take three bashing bludgeoning damage as you fall off the statue. And then you take seven damage when the statue falls on top of you. Crunch. How'd you do? Did you beat a 15? No. Then you take seven bashing damage as the statue knocks you out of the way. Oh, Did man. you beat a 15? No. Then you also take seven bashing damage as the tray clobbers you and you end up with Ow. dried fruit down the front of Aww. your armor. Did you beat a 15? Got a 15. Ooh, then you beat a 15 and yeah. you <laughs> don't take any damage at all because you were secondary to it and it collapses and you are now pinned underneath this Aww. statue. For those of you who failed, all three of you are pinned underneath the statue as the water rushes by. She didn't fail though, but she's still pinned. So I got a 17. 
Oh, right. He got it's knocked just, away. Yes. So yeah, just the two it. of you are pinned by the statue. Cool. There we go. That is what happens. Ah! The statue cracks in half and Ow. poor Blanchard the Wonderful is ruined. Ouch. So Penny's pinned? No. Yes. Oh, yeah, Pe- Penny and Florida Man are currently pinned by the statue. Wow, I'm I- really bad at archaeology. <laughs> I thought you said you did this before. No, I'm going to no, start no. digging out the archaeologist. Okay. <laughs> sure. And by are you really strong? Ha, yeah, tickles. yeah. How strong are you? I am an 18 plus four. Wow. I know I'm, I'm gonna remarkably push. strong for what I am. <laughs> from underneath. Push from do underneath. I need to roll or do I just lift it off? Yeah, you're going to have to make a strength check. I'm going to give her advantage because I'm helping from the underneath. Oh, okay. well, no, you you're can't because you don't have the ability to aid. You're, I, you're pinned. Boo. Oh. Yeah, I will help. Oh, okay. Now you have advantage. Ooh, nice. nice. 23. Yeah, so that's not quite enough, but I mean, your 18 strength and your what strength? 13. Is 31 strength, and that's more than enough to move this top heavy piece of junk statue off to the side. Uh, Tex, the sword comes loose and falls at your feet. I'm going to investigate the sword. Oh, well, that's what I was going for, man. Slides out <laughs> of its scabbard. I know, but you've had a ton of stuff for I today. Know. I'm not going to give you everything. <laughs> Jeez. It is... A sword that is in fine condition, made of laminated wood inset with jagged teeth of obsidian. There you go. It's a long sword. It's a long sword. Fortunately, that ain't for me. <laughs> I like long swords. <laughs> yeah, she does. Yeah, it's like my thing. <laughs> I also use a long I'm sword. I'm a ranger. But yeah. Oh, I, I get like... You could use... Yeah, you could totally use a long sword. But I need, I'd use... Well, actually, but no. You need, right. uh, you need something for like close combat. I have my rapier. Gimme, 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 So gimme, drop gimme. your rapier and take the cool fucking sword. <laughs> well, the sword is going to be a strength check one, not a... I'm oh. dexterity. Dexterity. Yeah. So his strength check is plus one and his dexterity is plus four. So he doesn't really want to use yeah, a long okay. sword. But you have the long sword. It's really pretty. Um, feels nice in your grip because the, the handle is really quality made does not seem to have borne the passage of time at all unlike the statue has. is it like heavy well it is it's a long sword so oh, okay. it is quite heavy no it's give not it to maryland like rapier at all she wanted it she she oh, collapsed the statue on us <laughs> pinned you we did too no we were just standing there and mm. uh, no no we weren't even touching the statue yet can i see it for a second i think that might be a family heirloom <laughs> i will pass it over to alabama Sure. He's like, well, it seems real pretty. It might be one. I don't actually know what a family heirloom is. I've just heard people say it before. And then he kind of like holds it with his two fingers. And he's like, does anybody want this back? You can hold a long sword with two fingers. Yeah. I have really strong fingers. You don't want to know why. We know why. (laughs) It's from tweezing. Gotta get those hairs. <laughs> As Paige plucks her eyebrows. <laughs> it's get really the, deep the rooted. Yeah. And deep roots. Well, Florida Man and Maryland Jane, what do you want to do with this long sword? I point to Maryland. Okay. Cool. I'll take a long sword. Should I do a check on this long sword? What sort of check are you going Just to do? Just write it down so uh, you have it. You're a rogue. What sort of check would you do on a long sword? Investigation. So you're going to investigate. I had already described the sword. With pretty cool It's things. a pretty sword. It's serrated, which is cool. Oh, what's it made out of? I thought you said wood. Yeah, it is made of laminated wood inset with jagged teeth of obsidian. I feel like that's not a very effective sword, but okay. Cool. Well, the obsidian is what cuts, right? It's the teeth of obsidian that cuts the uh, oh. the people. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. So yeah, it does have a serrated edge. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was thinking. Yeah. That's what it sounded like. Cool. Sweet. Kick ass. Do a there little you damage. Go. You've come to a door. After the statue falls and topples, we've reached a door. Where's the... The door is 10 foot wide. The water runs underneath it. Uh, open the door. <laughs> sure. You do an investigation on the door. Yep. And you can see that these doors are once again made of bronze, but they are blue tinted from oxidation. You open it and you can see two alcoves to the right and to the well, one to the right and one to the left. And there's lots of sounds and lots of noises and a lot of things happening in this room where I'm just going to say the likelihood of combat is high. But who knows with y'all? Nonetheless, Florida man. Yes. Cough (coughs) and take three points of gas damage. It has been a full hour since Magic Circle has ended and the (laughs) vampire has come back to life. And we will leave today's game with the vampire saying, what in the absolute hell? 
This concludes this episode of Tavern Tales, a curated Dungeons & Dragons 5e game set in the Tales of the Yawning Portal Adventure module by Wizards of the Coast. Our intro and outro music is the song Tavern Tales by the Bad Billy Band. You can find out more about the Bad Billy Band on iTunes or at www.badbillyband.com or follow them on Twitter at Bad Billy Band. Thanks for listening. Please feel free to leave us a review on iTunes or find us on Twitter at Tavern underscore Tales. We'll be back next week with more of the adventure. Your Lord of Suckitude. Yeah, Ugh. I was picturing something different when you said there's a big pit of sucking. And I'm like, okay. Orgy. Doesn't sound that bad. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Don't judge me. Says the school teacher over here. That's going in the outtakes. That's why she doesn't put her last name on any of this. That's right. <laughs> You should put your maiden name, maiden, your maiden name on it. Fernandez. Yeah, my kids don't know that. Yeah, that's good. Your yeah. kids don't know that one. They don't know my maiden name. Yeah, we could just put you as Allison Fernandez. This could be your like performative name. Yeah. Okay. I'm cool with that. I'm not going to go back and change the backlog though. That's like that's sixty. Okay. No, no, no. But like, you could change it to that. Cool. Let's do that for, going forward. Name. Sure. With an S, right? Mm-hmm. Cool. Fernandez. Fernandez. You're not the first person to say that. I said Fernandez. Oh, that's dumber. <laughs>